you believe there is one God, correct? I mean, I don't know if I can say that, that there's one God. I mean, it, it, I'm in the process of... Okay, so that means you're not Christian or very... <laughs> Because in Christianity, they believe in one God, by the way. Uh, so to, to say, when we say, uh, when we're talking about the one God, we're talking about this universe has to have a maker, correct? Okay. This universe has to have a maker. It cannot be multiple ones, it has to be one. If there are multiple ones, then they were going to have a hierarchy between them. Who's, who's overtaking who, who's on top of who. And then it will come to the conclusion, it has to be this one God, the creator of the, of the universe. The, this one God should have one faith, not multiple faiths. Should be one faith. Which faith is it? Is it Christianity? Is it Islam? Which faith is that? Now, since you came from a Christian background, now if I prove to you, actually Islam is the true faith of God. Will you accept to be Muslim? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm saying to you, if I you mean, find Islam is the true faith. Well, if with, I find it to be true, yeah, I mean, I guess I guess so. <laughs> okay, good, good, that's fine. So, do you have, do you have a moment for me to explain to you about Islam? And, um, now, and then just take this moment. What, you if, to, I, what if I read the, this first? And you, then, will have, you will have the chance. I'm just giving you kind of a brief, and then after that, you take your time to read as much as you want, all right? Um, just, I will just brief you, just giving you a brief. No, that's okay. What is that's Islam? Okay. Giving you an insight about Islam. Yeah? Okay, I, I, I'm, Basically, I'm came, I, I, and I'll come here next Sunday. Just let me that's explain okay. to you. Just give me just a few minutes. That's only a couple of minutes. I will not take... <laughs> I promise. I will, not take, I will not take, you know, a lot of your time. No, I know, I know. Yeah. No, I appreciate this. I yeah. appreciate it. Basically, we Muslims, we believe in one God. Yeah. Are we filming? Yes, this speaker is gone. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. This speaker is gone. But by the way, no problem. It's a this discussion. It's okay. You know? Okay. Yeah. It's a discussion. If my mom sees this, she's going to be angry at me. No, don't worry. It's it's we're, discuss yeah. we're discussing. We're having, we're, you know. A friendly conversation. It's a friendly conversation. All right. Yeah. So basically, we believe in one God. Okay. We believe God has sent prophets and messengers, many of them, one after another, has sent Abraham, has sent David, has sent Moses, has sent. Yeah, I know. Jesus and Muhammad, all of them yeah. were sent by God to convey the message of God to the people. So God wants us to submit to Him. Now, since there is some people who believe in the same God, in the same prophets, like Islam and Christianity, which faith is the true faith? Is it Christianity or is it Islam? Does it make sense to you that if God is all-knowing, all-powerful, that suddenly, suddenly, you know, change and became weak. Does it, does it make sense to you? Can God become weak? I don't know. He made us uh, to his image and we humans are weak, but that makes us strong. So yeah, but, but God but God is all powerful. God is At all the knowing. Same time. Yeah, God cannot be weak because you cannot have the two things in the same thing in the Why existence. Not? Yeah, again, it doesn't it doesn't make sense. For example, in terms of our own analogy, you cannot have the opposite thing. You cannot be poor and rich at the same time. You understand? You can be poor about certain things and rich about certain things, but you cannot be multi-millionaire of dollars and at the same time poor in dollars. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. You can't be powerful in certain things, or you can't be powerful, all powerful. We're talking about all power. That means he possesses all powers and in the same time be weak in the same time. This contradiction. So God is all powerful, always was powerful and always will be powerful. God is all knowing, always all knowing and will be always all knowing. So so that's why when it comes to in terms of when, when God has sent Jesus, please be open him, people start thinking about Jesus to be to be God. Yeah? Yeah. And that's why but Jesus never said in a clear statement in the Bible saying that he was God. Never said this. You don't find Jesus saying about himself that he was God. And that makes the contradictions in the Christianity. The well, thing Islam is, the thing is that is the Bible consistent. was translated by men and men and men are flawed, are full of flaws. So that's why that, that shows that shows it's not the true faith. Because if it was the true faith it has to be preserved. Islam is happening in a way with this. If no. we were to translate this into Spanish, I may find some differences with you with the real Quran. Good. You know? That's why this is what we give you, we don't say this is the Quran, we say this is the translation of the Quran. So we give you a translation of the Quran. This is not the Quran. The Quran, yeah, yeah, if you wanted to know right. the Quran, still the Quran written in Arabic, how it was in this original language. 
language. Currently, there is one point. There is nearly 15 million people on earth who memorize the Quran in Arabic language, as it is from cover to cover. Okay. And. Huh? Not the translation, the original Arabic language. And 90% of these people who are non-Arabs, and yet they memorize the Quran as it is in Arabic language. So not the translation. This is kind of, yeah, yeah. This is only translation giving you an understanding about the Quran. But this is not the Quran. Ah, okay. okay you understand? So this is not a holy book. Yeah. Of the Quran. This is translation about the Quran, giving you an insight, giving you an understanding of the Quran. So that's the difference between Islam and Christianity. Okay. Islam still its original text in Arabic language as it is, with no any changes. And we ask the people, we Muslims, even people who accept Islam, we we always encourage them to learn how to read the Quran in its original text. Okay. That's what we do. Okay. So this doesn't ha this is not in Christianity. Okay. What's your name, by the way? I'm Angie. Huh? Angie. Angie. Yeah. Are you from Buenos Aires or? No, I'm, I'm three hours from Buenos Aires. Three, three hours from Buenos yeah. Aires. Okay. So Angie, your name is Angie. With with. Yeah. Is it a short name of Angel or just only Angie? Angelina. Angelina. Yeah. Okay. So Angelina. Does it make sense to you that Islam has more truth for than, than well, Christian? I can tell you now, but I'll, I'll work on it. You know what I mean? Like we want you to work on it. We want you to understand more about Islam. Okay. And we are here every Sunday. Okay. If you have the chance to come again for us, and then we wanted you, but at the same time, this this Angelina, we are trying to. This is what we want to do: read the Quran. And have you recently, by the way, recently, were you seeking? About you, are you asking God to show you the guidance recently? Um, yeah, I mean, he's like a friend. Me. So, so, do you want more than this? God has sent you here today to tell you about the truth of Islam. I, I don't know if I'm seeking for a truth, to be honest. I'm just thinking. Because if there is faith, there is faith, it has to be. At the end of the day, the life is short and it will end. That's why life's short. I want to enjoy and it. There a, and there is a hereafter. And then after that, we'll be questioned about the things that we commit and we did in this life. So that's why we have to make sure that our choices is right. Okay. Islam, Islam allows you to enjoy your life, no problem, but within the boundaries of Islam. Within the boundaries so you of Islam. that this is the truth, the only one? This is the translation of the truth, the only one. Well, yes, I know what you mean. He likes so this is Italy. the truth for you. Yes. And do you live? Do you ever go to sleep and you think about everything you've done through all the day, and you can certainly go to sleep and uh, thinking that everything that you did was right according to this? Do you know how many times we Muslims we pray in a day? I, I'm not asking that. I know that you pray a lot, and I. No, we pray. We Muslims we pray five times a day. And that's perfect. In every and we recite the first chapter of the Quran. If you open that one, I will show you here. I'll open this one here. Although there is a translated group of the Quran in the Spanish language by the by the gate, if you want, oh, okay. you could you could have it as well. But I will show you. Yeah, but you, you, see, didn't, you didn't answer. Yeah, me. I will answer you. I will answer by 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 this. Yeah, you see here. This chapter, this is the Quran al-Fatiha, this, this chapter. Okay. We recite, it, we recite it in the day while the prayer, nearly minimum 17 times a day. And in every in every time we say, guide, guide us. us to the straight path. Okay. We keep asking God to guide us to the straight path. Okay. And that's what we are always asking God. So of course, before we sleep, we pray the final prayer. And we ask God to guide us to the straight path and to show us the guidance. And the guidance is in three types, three ways. Yeah. First is to show you the truth, to make you follow the truth, and to keep you firm upon that truth. This is the guidance of God. And that's what we are asking God to show us the truth. Okay. That's how it is, Angelina. Well, it was nice talking to you. Nice talking to you, Angelina. Okay. Well, All right. Look after yourself. Hopefully that we're gonna uh, we're gonna see you next week. Are you are you open to come next You're staying here for how long in the UK? Three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. But I'm in Oxford. I think I'll make it here on Sunday again. 
Yeah, we hope then. Okay. We hope to see you here. All right. Do you study in Oxford now? Yeah. Do you do a course there? Yeah, yeah. Or right. for how long? Three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. Everything is three weeks. Then you're going to go back to uh, Argentina. Argentina. Right. Yeah. I'm trying to learn Spanish, but I'm still, <laughs> I still, I need to improve. I need some people to teach me Spanish, actually. So. You have to say in Argentinian, son boludo. Sos boludo. Sos boludo. What's yeah. Perfect. What's the meaning of that? God bless you. <laughs> Just All right, God bless you too. All right. Okay. All right. I have to say that in Spanish to me. Yeah, yeah. Which is? But in, in feminine is sos boluda. Sos boluda. For, for you. Can I film it? You film me. Okay. So I get to film you. All right, no problem. But what does it mean, by the way? Bless you. Okay. okay well, so let's make a video. So yep. my friend here has been has been teaching me about Islam. Yeah, and he's going to say God, God bless you in Argentina. Okay. okay. So you have to say son boluda. So boluda. Okay. Bye. Have a good. Oh, I don't know what it means. By the way, I hope I hope it means God bless you. God bless you. Too. Yeah, and God bless you. I ask God to bless you with guidance. Bye. <laughs> By the way, all the brothers who are watching who speak Spanish. By the way, but, uh, we need some people to translate for us. She said, means God bless you. I don't know what it means. Hopefully, it means what it means. Yeah? May God bless her with guidance. May Allah, may Allah guide her to Islam and show her the guidance. I mean, Allah Allah Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, here you go.